Sovereign's Parade at the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst takes place twice each year when officer cadets of the senior division leave Sandhurst for commissions in the British Army and in many overseas armies. After King George VI had taken the salute at the first passing out parade of the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst in July 1948, he decreed that in future this parade would be known as the Sovereign's Parade. This film shows the Sovereign's Parade at Sandhurst in August 1962, when the salute was taken on behalf of Her Majesty the Queen by Field Marshal the Viscount Slim. The officer cadets form up on the new building parade ground and march under the command of the adjutant to the parade ground in front of the old building. The adjutant is preceded by his orderlies. The senior division, those leaving Sandhurst for commissions today, march on last to the soldiers of the Queen and form up in front of the remainder of the parade. When the parade is formed up, the colours are marched on from the grand entrance to be received with a general salute. These colours, carried by officer cadets of the senior division, are the Queen's and regimental colours of the academy and the King George V banner carried by the Sovereign's Company, the champion company of the academy. The inspecting officer now arrives on the saluting base, accompanied by the Commandant of Sandhurst and preceded by the Commandant's orderlies. He is received with a general salute. He then proceeds to inspect the parade, starting with the senior division. After the inspection is completed, the ceremony of handing over the King George V banner to the new Sovereign's Company begins. First, the banner is marched forward from the left flank of the parade, carried and escorted by officer cadets of the old Sovereign's Company. The new Sovereign's Company now march forward from the right flank to receive the banner. Academy Sergeant Major marches forward to effect the transfer of the banner. 
This banner was presented to the champion company at arms at Sandhurst by King George V in 1918. When presenting it, His Majesty said, I hope this banner will be looked upon as an emblem of honour and that the contest for its possession will help to foster those chivalrous and sporting instincts so characteristic of the British race. In 1948, King George VI renamed the Champion Company the Sovereign's Company, and here we see it receiving its banner and being called the Sovereign's Company for the first time. The Sovereign's Company now troops its banner in the manner that colours have been trooped in the British Army for the past two centuries. The music is the Grenadier's March, the traditional march of the Grenadier or senior companies of the infantry of the British Army. Once the Sovereign's Company has regained its original position on the right of the line, the Academy marches past in slow and quick time, the senior division leading. The companies pass the saluting base in slow time to the music of Scipio, the slow march of the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst and in quick time to the British Grenadiers. Only the regimental colour is lowered during the march past in salute to the Field Marshal. The Queen's colour, which is lowered only to members of the Royal Family, and the King George V banner, which is lowered only to the reigning sovereign, remain flying on this occasion.
Now the march passed in quick time. Having reformed to make three sides of a square, the parade advances in review order and stands at ease to hear the inspecting officer's address, which is not included in this film. Following the address, the presentations are made. First, the Sword of Honour is presented to the officer cadet, considered by the commandant to be the best of his term. Next, the Queen's Medal is to be presented to the officer cadet first in the final order of merit of the senior division. An order of merit which takes into account not only the results obtained in all examinations in both military and academic subjects, but also an assessment of the cadet's officer qualities at the end of his second year at Sandhurst. The Royal Military Academy Sandhurst now pays a final salute to the inspecting officer. Then the parade disperses. Preceded by the colour party, to whom the remainder of the parade present arms, the senior division slow march off the old building parade ground for the last time, and up the steps of the grand entrance to the strains of Old Lang Syne. Their time as officer cadets is over. Tomorrow they'll be commissioned. In accordance with Sandhurst tradition, the adjutant follows the seniors up the steps into the old building and the parade is left in command of the assistant adjutant. The Sovereign's Company, with the King George V banner, now exercises its privilege of marching off parade before the other companies who present arms to the banner. the Sovereign's Company have left the parade ground, the remainder of Sandhurst march off and the Sovereign's Parade is over.